Hey guys, Kirby and Moore here, and today we're going to build an engine generator that will be powered by combustion engines, which are fueled by the refined fuel I showed you guys how to make last time. So on the water tanks I set up in the pumps and tanks video, I set up a redstone engine uh, and a wooden pipe, and then some iron pipes and some stone pipes, and piped it all the way over here, kind of closer to where we're going to set up this engine generator. And here are the fuel tanks that we set up in the refinery video. Uh, I did the exact same thing with the wooden pipes and the redstone engines uh, and just some iron pipes and that's about it. So here's an overlook of the entire system as of now. I will post links in the description of the pumps and tanks video and the refinery video. Alright, so the whole purpose of the engine generator is to generate power. We need somewhere to collect this power. So I'm going to place an MFSU over in this little side room here. Right, so now that we have our MFSU down, we can finally place our engine generator. I'm going to use a medium voltage one. I did some tests earlier and I found out that the medium voltage one is just as efficient as the high voltage one using four combustion engines. I'm going to put mine right there. It seems like there's adequate space around it for piping and redstone. What we should do now is we should run some glass fiber cable from our MFSU to our engine generator or vice versa. Remember to go two spaces up, just so we have room to pipe around our engine generator. Now that we have our cable run, we can finally place our combustion engines. We'll place one on each of the four sides facing outward. Just to make it look nice, I'm going to add some wood planks. Now we'll set up some stone waterproof pipes around the engines and the generator. We're also going to need to pipe around the top of the engines just for our water cooling system. Make sure there's no intersections of the two pipe systems so we can keep our fuel and our water separate. Finally, we'll make our connection between the water tanks and the pipes above. You should go through and check each engine and make sure it's receiving the water. It should be receiving it in the right tank area here. We can do the same thing with our fuel pipes over here. Again checking to make sure that all your engines are receiving the fuel. This time it'll show up in the left tank here. If the fuel or the water doesn't show up in the engine, what you can do is you can break the engine and replace it. If that doesn't work, you may have piped your system wrong. Once your engines appear to be full with fuel, what you can do is you can shut your fuel pumps off. You don't really need a whole lot of fuel in them and it'll last quite a while. Now we're actually going to need to break two of our blocks just like we did with the pump. We're going to need to place a redstone lever inside just like that. And again, they'll power two engines each on their own. Now all that's left to do is to turn our levers on. This will turn our engines on and we can finally see if our engine generator is generating power. Looks like the engines are working. It's always a good idea to keep your eye on your engines. If they do get too hot, they will explode and create massive amounts of damage, which would suck if you had all of this set up. Alright, so here's a final look at the system. We got our water tanks full of water, and that water being piped over to cool our engines. We also have our oil tanks full of oil, and that oil being refined down to fuel, which will then be powering the engines. Last but not least, your combustion engines shouldn't change color from green to yellow or red. They should stay about green or possibly blue when they're warming up. Your water tanks should be full at all times, and if they start to run out, you may have to pipe additional water into the system. It's always a good idea to run out of fuel instead of running out of water and letting this all go to waste. So that's it for our engine generator. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll try and get back to you on them. Also, please like or subscribe if this helped you in any way. Once again, I'm Kirby and Moore. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck.